Well, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Start the music here. See how this comes across. All right, so welcome to uh, Steampunk Down to Earth by Friendly Bipolar Hour. So this is Steampunk Down to Earth. Bipolar Hour. Oh, we screwed up. Right, let's do this again. Oh, oops. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, we were going so good to begin with, huh? Oh, let's make Billy Cobo's music back. So it's a new album, Hymnal. There we go. Didn't know where we left off. Nice. What's happening here? Storm's coming. All right, tonight uh, we were going to talk about uh, one of the things I was interested in very recently is uh, 3D printing technology as it relates to uh, medical machines. Transparent 3D printed skull installed in this ladle. I just thought this was totally amazing. But this happened uh, apparently three months ago uh, in Holland. Surgeons implanted a transparent plastic skull in a woman whose skull has never stopped growing. She has this uh, rare bone disease that was uh, made the thickness of her skull. Made the thickness of her skull. <laughs> How do we get out of this? Well, I'm still learning how to use this also. How do we get back to me? This ain't working. Does work? I guess uh, Google Hangout has some issues with uh, Windows Vista. I don't know, so it's still on my face. Refresh the page. Oh, oh, we just came back. So we got a track here because the computer. So how do we do this? Make it more. Oh, I don't want to 
want to do that, so I'll do both. Yes, we're still learning technology here. Anyways, this is lady skull grew to the thickness of two inches. It was rushing in on the top of her head and it made her almost blind because it was compressing her her ocular cavities. And uh, so they took the whole top of her head off and printed a, a normal thickness transparent plastic 3D printed skull. So that, was, that was amazing. So where is my face now? See, I can't switch back. Can't switch back this page. Now, it's over there right here. Oh, now it's back. Now we can switch. But apparently they use titanium staples here to hold the two sections together. Normal, uh, I guess, uh, titanium staple has been used for, you know, over 20 years. But yeah, you can look into her head. That's insane. So how are they going to grow hair on this? That was my, uh, my first question. You know, how they make her a wig? And I still haven't found a video of this yet. I've only found this photo. You know, when I first got interested in 3D printing because of uh, the fast distributed, they made the first uh, 3D printed uh, pistol, the Liberator, the Liberator pistol. They made an open source pistol. So let's see if this will play. I wonder if the audio will play video. See, I'm trying to figure out how to do my audio. But I hear it in my headphones. I don't know if you're hearing this or not. So they've expanded to uh, cryptocurrency up here. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. Can I pause this? Can I pause this? Go here. All right, all right. So, that's the best distributed. Let's go to their wicked one, I guess. Yeah, I guess I have to invest in a uh, seven window base computer. Just barely hang on.
DISD.tumblr.com. Download the plans for free. And if you can't find them there, they're on uh, the Fire Bay. There you go. Well, they have a lot of trackers in this website for being an open source uh, website. They got a lot of damn trackers. You know, that's something I always wonder about with these uh, websites. They claim to be all open source and uh, for the people and stuff, but they sure have a lot of damn trackers I got to block to keep them from. Or tracking my web uh, browsing history here. That's not cool. Look, 11 trackers here. Right? Oh my God, let's see. Double click, of course, there's advertising. Facebook Connect, that's all right. Facebook Alpha Plugin, that's all right. Google Plus One, that's all right for here. Google AdSense, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager. New Relic, we can block them. Quantcast, we should block them too. Block them. Scorecard Research, yes, block them. Twitter button, yeah, I don't care about that. I can reload pay and see what blocks. But yeah, that's way too many trackers for being an open source website. That's bullshit. That's that's their web developer doing that. So one of the tools I use is this uh, program called Ghostery. That's that purple window you see here, Facebook Connect. It tells you what's blocked and what's being allowed. And, uh, it's an add-on for uh, Firefox and Chrome. I would not use Internet Explorer you know, under any circumstances. It's uh, it's gonna work. And then the other software I use is NoScript right here. It's up here. NoScript blocks all kinds of things. You can forbid or allow all kinds of stuff like. This is this new one I keep showing. TXT, SRVING, info. I'm going to keep it out one block because I don't know what that is for. But, Monterey block, Script D, Assets and block, New Relic block, YMG is blocked, which that's a Yahoo image. Twitter. Using no script and Ghost 3 and Firefox will block a lot of stuff that won't be computer. See how this is flashing? It's flashing because of all this stuff. Oh, it's trying to load. Right. Let's get out of the stage. It's almost crap trying to load. Okay, so we were looking on Reddit earlier. Bloodhound. In the distance. I'm going to show you a repository for 3D print files. It's like a rusted nail. Oh, to YouTube. Why do you want a YouTube video? I want a uh, website. Alright, now that. Oh, it says videos. This is a uh, Bone River soundtrack, him known by Joey Carbo. To me. My reducing this uh, page in the taskbar is to come back to it. Select it. Oh, goodness gracious. But 3D printing has just, just exploded in the last two years. I mean, they, they, have a, they have a 3D printer now that will print auto parts with molten metal. Right? You get from plastic, plastics to molten metal to uh, they have a biological printer now that will print food. Right? Mm -hmm. Pretty crazy, upside down and backwards. Mm -hmm. cool. well, there we are. Huh. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Look, I'm amazed every day of, of the power of the internet and, and what gets put on the internet as far as new technology and new ideas. But the bad thing is, is you know, because of patent trolls and copyright and trademark garbage going on now to try to try to secure anything to put a new idea to market. We almost have to do it in the country. And then we'll try to do it without being sued. But uh, we are looking for a guest for next Friday. Uh, I may have this artist, uh, Jawa. Artist here. She's at Art Show on, on May 3rd. We're trying to convince her to come on and, uh, and talk. Well, let's see. Let's see. She really is exposed. She's getting ready to move to New Orleans to continue her art career down there. Which will, which will get a lot more fun than that you're over here in Baton Rouge uh, being an underground artist. So we're switching from Coors to this uh, new beer called Fortune. It's a Miller product. Uh, Five seventy nine plus tax for a four pack of 16 ounce beer. Six point nine percent of all good. More than half a wine, most wine is twelve percent of all good. Which most part of the beer is twenty percent of all good. Okay, five bottles. Something. And he's never done it before until she went in. I can smell the 
pheromones of my puppy. And the reason why she's still going in is because when I first bought her, the first rescued her from the veteran's town, Uh, awesome. We'll have to play it. 
by itself and talk about it in another podcast. Custom CD, man. Invest in the fifty dollar level, it's there. So three D printing. Three D printing is amazing. So the website isn't there. So find a website. Why is it printed? So ladies skull that grew to a thickness of two inches and compressed their brain and caused blindness because it was putting so much downward pressure on her head. It's insane. Do not forget it, my The precursor to this achievement was a similar patching done no, last year where seventy five percent of the patient skull was replaced. With a 3D printed appearance. implant made of polyether ketone ke- ketone ketone polyether ketone ketone. The little that's finger the, is missing on my right hand, finger. but even worse, polyether ketone ketone. The three fingers on my right hand. P-E-K-K. I will just about hold a mug using the two fingers I have left. And I've become rather helpless. You don't understand how important these things are until you lose them. The 3D printed material. The only thing I, I mean, can still do properly well, it's not, is shoot you know. using my little finger. And I can't shoot all my life, right? It's insane that they can print. On March 4th, the birth surgery using this method in the United States was successful. OPM, which is OPM, Oxford Performance Materials Company, Connecticut. Right. OPM estimates 300 patients USD to skull replacements every month. 300 to 500 people a month need a skull replacement. Oh my God. Injured soldiers, accident victims, yes, yes. Cancer patients, yes, yes. Wow. That's insane. Wow. Turn a 3D section of your skull if it gets blown off in war. Hey. Hey. 
check out my circle in the circle, the small corner bar, inner circle, sell big momentum. Yep. She is the internet and innovation. Uh, where did this get started here, people? You know, pretty, pretty grown reflective scars replacement. 618 nylon. Huh. Uh, Of the shaver, pretty pretty for the six one eight coat polymer. Um, yeah, they do uh, hip replacements now with three D printing. Right? I mean, it's going to prolong the, the healthy life of a lot of uh, old people that have osteoporosis, right? Just three D print any bone or hip cavity or any bone. That happens, right? Hey. That's all we're going to do for now. We got one here. That's me. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, this will be a video soon. YouTube channel. So if if you live in Baton Rouge, or if you don't live in Baton Rouge, it doesn't matter. We can. We can do a podcast from anywhere, wherever you're located, anywhere in the world. You, all you have to do is have a Gmail account and a webcam, and uh, I can walk you through getting hooked up and uh, we can do a podcast together. So, this has been the Steampunk Down to Earth Friendly Bipolar Hour. And uh, you can always be thinking of watching the. Peace out, man.